The force align experiment is a project that I came up with to construct a structure that demonstrates the shape of the Earth. My name is Brian. I'm a structural engineer. I've been practicing for about 10 years now, uh, civil and structural engineering, and uh, I'm a professional engineer licensed in four states. There's been a lot of back and forth between people who believe that the Earth is what, is what we've been taught and people who don't, and I think it's time that we, we come up with a way to prove it once and for all. Some people think it's ridiculous, but a lot of people, a lot of uh, engineers and surveyors out there have really started to ask questions. Uh, they've, they've started to realize that there aren't answers to these things, uh, that we ignore the, the alleged curvature and rotation of the Earth all the time and we never have any error because of it. There's not a lot of proofs that we can do on the Earth, at least not a lot of proofs that cannot be explained on the Flat Earth model as well. A lot of it come, has to do with perspective. The only real proofs we have are pictures and videos from space and many people are starting to call those into question. I'm going to zoom in on the Earth in Photoshop. You see the Earth? And I'm going to bring the levels over here. And I'm going to bring the levels up. Uh-oh. What is that? Why is there a square box around the Earth allegedly taken from the scientists on the moon in Apollo 17? And people wonder why I don't trust NASA. The average person cannot go to space to verify this form of proof. Whereas this experiment will produce a permanent structural proof that can be verified by anyone. The force line experiment works by constructing two lines, basically like building a fence. And the lines are attached to what would be cl classically called fence posts. And the first line is constructed so that it follows the shape of the earth, whatever that is. And then the second line, the forced line, is, me is, constructed, is mechanically forced to stay straight or horizontal from the starting point. By comparing the two, you can, you can tell if the distance between the two has changed over a mile or two miles or however long we decide to build it, and use that to determine if in fact the Earth is curved, and if so, by how much. Or alternatively, on a flat Earth model, there should be little to no difference in the distance between the two lines, or a change in the distance between the two lines over the whole length of the project or the structure. So it's essentially a permanent physical geodetic survey. Nothing like this has ever been built before. In fact, there are no structures on Earth or anything constructed physically that exists for us to go look and see what the shape of our world is. There's nothing out there that demonstrates the shape of our world. 